so hi guys hope you are doing well i know i have made a lot of delay to make this video to make a do or die strategy but uh, i was traveling in these days for my internship so finally i have reached the institute the room is pretty uh, okay so yeah that is the other thing but in this video we are going to talk about how you can score around 100 to 120 in your exam uh, iit ka uh, but if you are scoring already 120 to 130 i would not recommend you or i will not suggest you to watch this video because this video is not for you i would just suggest you one thing that just follow uh, the syllabus uh, the block strategy i have shared uh, to cover the third block or the second block might be so you can score your uh, like you can boost your score to 150 to 160 by completing most of the syllabus right so you guys just study on the uh, syllabus which is been incomplete and just try to cover it up uh, remaining students who are stuck on the 80 to 90 this video is for you i will give you a proper strategy in which you can follow i mean a certain part so you get, you will get an idea so how you can uh, tackle the question or how much question you have to solve in the iit exam which will really help you a lot so without wasting any time let's begin okay so the first part of this video is for pcmb students so what should be your target at this point that you should score around 120 to 130 right so here comes the catch so what you can do is solve physics chemistry biology and maths that you are going to do right now what should be the minimum questions you should solve in each and every subject so that is you should solve minimum 8 questions in each each section right physics chemistry uh, maths and bio each 8 8 uh, questions you have to solve so that you can uh, solve around uh, 32 questions and which is around 128 uh, marks i guess if i am not wrong Uh, so yeah 128 marks you are going to cover so here uh, is the main thing that you understood that how much questions you have to solve but you don't know that what like from where you you should practice for these questions or like from where you you will get to know that how much syllabus is needed to cover up those eight questions right so i have made physics and chemistry ka most important chapters ka video in my previous uh, days you can follow you can watch it and you can just note those important topics and yeah you should cover it and i am guarantee with those chapters that you can score easily around 8 Eight to nine questions e easily. Like you will score around, uh, you will uh, solve around eight to nine questions in physics and chemistry. For maths and uh, bio, I have made for non-bio and non-maths, right? So that is not enough uh, for your eight questions. You should at least cover fifty percent of the syllabus. So you should reach around eight to nine uh, questions from each sections to solve from uh, bio and maths. If you are just doing those non uh, those important chapters for non-bio and non-maths, uh, three to four questions uh, you can solve. Three to four questions minimum you can solve. Maths I don't know. Maybe if you have a luck, you can solve around six. Uh, so yeah. uh now for uh, uh like if you want to boost your score for uh, like around 140 to 150 what you can do is make one, any one of the subject uh, like the best like for if like for example i am good in physics so what i am doing is uh, making my physics the best that i can assure and i am guaranteed that i will solve around 13 to 14 questions uh, in my paper for iit so you are solving most of the questions from physics and eight if you are unlucky and you just solve four or five questions in any of these sections you are going to cover up in this section right and even though uh, you are going to solve more questions from the uh, from the previous thing right so uh, automatically you are going to score uh, 130 plus so that's it for this first part let's move with the second part in which for uh, you are you are going to solve maths and bio like different for pcm and pcb let's talk in the next section okay so for pcm and pcb i'm going to talk in the same like same scheme in this section so whether it is uh, biology or uh, maths doesn't matter okay so now here is like you just are going to solve three subjects so here is must for you guys to ace any of this one subject you are going to solve right whether it is biology chemistry physics or maths uh, it doesn't bother so for example i am a pcm student i am going to ace physics so that i can solve at least 14 questions or 15 questions in physics or what you can do is ace any two subjects uh, like for example my maths and uh, physics is good so i will definitely solve around 14 questions or around 10 questions in physics and around 14 questions and around 10 questions in uh, maths so like if you are doing 10 questions in maths do 14 questions in uh, physics okay or else uh, like to be very confident and very safe to get an iser you should do this or else what you can do is for pcm and pcb just ace one subject that is any of this for example physics i'm solving 14 questions but you have to solve 14 question for must that is the catch here right so if you are solving 14 questions in any of one subject solve eight eight questions in other two subjects so like uh, 16 plus 14 uh, it's around uh, uh, 30 right it's around 30 and uh, 120 you are going to score right which is your uh, must uh, Uh, marks like you are going to get that marks so right 
so if you are doing one subject as s you should be confident enough that confident enough that you are going to solve 14 questions which i don't recommend at least two subject you should ace uh, which i have done in my uh, preparation for uh, like i have did physics and maths so good that i have solved uh, more than uh, 10 questions in every like physics and chemistry uh, maths and chemistry i have uh, solved a decent questions and bio also i have solved so yeah so that's why i'm saying that if you are doing physics or uh, like pcm or pcb then just uh, ace two subjects so that you don't uh, get worried in exam uh, exam like when you are going giving exam and you will solve uh, most of the questions without any burden or stress right if you are just doing uh, like if you are just acing the one subject or you are just doing one subject so good that you are solving 14 questions uh, by in a mock and by chance if you don't solve 14 questions or even 13 then you are going to get in trouble uh, if the cut off goes high so that's why i am just warning you to do at least two subjects um, very good and very properly so that you you should solve more than 10 questions in both of them right so yeah that's it for this second section and i hope i have cleared or maybe i can cleared one once more to be give uh, like as a summary so for pcmb just solve around 8 8 questions in every subject okay like every subject and if you are acing one subject then it is the best the best you are going to get uh, any answer like you will going to get uh, an answer for sure for pcmb if you, for the pcm or pcb what you can do is uh, do or ace any of the two subjects for, uh, which are going to attend and uh, because of that Uh, you will solve around 10 plus questions in both the subjects and around you should solve minimum 8 question in the other subject in which you are weak so you should uh, do uh, those important chapters which i have made a video so that you can solve 8 questions in the weakest subject or maybe the weak subject in both of them and you will solve minimum 8 questions so yeah that's it for this video i think i have cleared a lot Uh, you will get much more clarity if you watch again i guess because it was too much confusing uh, for you guys if you watch it again you will get to know that minimum what should you solve and how much questions you should solve so that you can uh, confirm your seat in isel and uh, that's why i have made some video because at this moment if i make some video uh, like uh, do this chapters and score this much it's like uh, totally a uh, waste of your time so that's why i have made this video in which you will at least get to know that how much should i solve that i can just confirm my seat in isel so that is minimum 88 questions in every subject if you are uh, attending pcmb and for pcm or pcb if you are attending you should ace at least two subjects and one subject is like around 8 to 9 question you should solve so that you can get an answer so that's it for this video and yeah hope you like this video and i will continue my daily vlogs because here uh, campus is so good even though hostel is so bad but the campus is so good so i will definitely uh, keep uh, i will keep uploading the vlogs for the uh, iisc shippur hope you like this video and stay tuned for the vlogs also and i will keep uploading much important topics or much important videos which will not be wasting your time for your preparation so yeah that's it for this video hope you like this video bye bye